I hope you have done question number three, four, five, which was given as homework. If you have any queries related to that, you can just ask it. Are the balance sheet totals matching? Fifth sum, the balance sheet total is not matching. What is the uh, balance sheet total of the fifth sum? Like asset and liability is not matching or uh, it is not matching with my answer. Ninety-nine nine hundred. Okay, what is the balance sheet total then? The corrected balance sheet total. Seventy-three thousand seven fifty. Okay, let me check it. Twenty-five thousand as the closing stock. Yeah, it has to be more than that. My answer is wrong. Prepaid insurance. Machinery. 10%. Building. 20%. Daters. Opening stock, wages and salaries, carriage, by purchases and sales, list receivables, 600. Rent, data, so we are machine. Cash at bank, 1000. Seventy one seven fifty it should be. You just cross check question number five. Cross verify question number five. Closing stock, trading account, credit side twenty five thousand, balance sheet, asset side twenty five thousand. Correct. Insurance prepaid, P and L account, debit side. Insurance, inner amount column 600, less prepaid 100, outer amount column 500. Balance sheet, asset side, prepaid insurance 100. Goods 3000 taken away for personal use. Trading account, debit side, two purchases, inner amount column 63,000, less drawings 3000. Balance sheet, liability side, capital, inner amount column 30,000. Less drawings, 2,500 plus 3,000, that is 5,500. Correct? Depreciation, balance sheet, asset side, machinery, inner amount column 12,000. Less depreciation, 2,000, I'm sorry, 1,200. Outer amount column 10,800. Building, inner amount column 25,000. Less depreciation 20%, 5000, outer amount column 20,000. PL account, debit side, two depreciation. Under that, machinery 1200, building 5000, outer amount column 6200. Outstanding expenses, rent, PL account, debit side, two rent, inner amount column 3500. Add outstanding 500, outer amount column 
फोर थाउजेंड बैलेंस शीट लाइबिलिटी साइड आउटस्टैंडिंग रेंट फाइव हंड्रेड करेक्ट प्रोवाइड रिजर्व फॉर डाउटफुल डेट एट फाइव परसेंट ऑन डेटर्स बैलेंस शीट असेट साइड डेटर्स इनर अमाउंट कॉलम फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड लेस आर डी डी फाइव परसेंट दैट इज सेवन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी आउटर अमाउंट कॉलम फोर्टीन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी Two bad debts, or sorry, two provision for doubtful debt, rupees seven fifty. The old provision given of eight hundred can be shown on the credit side of P and L account for the reversal of it. Trading account debit side, two opening stock fifty eight thousand. Trading account debit side, two wages six thousand five hundred. Trading account debit side. To purchase, I'm sorry. To carry two thousand five hundred purchases, we have already taken less returns out of that five hundred out of our column fifty nine thousand five hundred sales tra trading account credit side buy sales in the amount column one lakh twenty six thousand less returns one thousand out of our column one lakh twenty five thousand rent uh, sorry bills receivable we have already taken no bills receivable balance sheet asset side. Bills receivable six hundred, balance sheet liability side bills payable one thousand. Correct. Rent we have already done RDD P and L account credit side by old RDD eight hundred because the new RDD is debited so old RDD will be credited. Debtors we have already taken balance sheet liability side sundry creditors sixteen thousand. Returns already adjusted. Machinery done. Travelling expense. P and L account debit side. Two travelling expenses. Three thousand. Cash in uh, cash at bank balance sheet asset side. Cash at bank one thousand. Building already done. P and L account debit side. Two office expenses. Twenty five thousand. Advertisement expenses. P and L account debit side. Two advertisement expenses. Three thousand. Drawings. Already done. Capital already taken. Insurance done. Balance sheet liability side. General reserves twenty five thousand six hundred. So accordingly, your balance sheet total should be plus ten thousand eight hundred plus twenty thousand plus fourteen two fifty plus six hundred. Plus one thousand, yeah, seventy-one thousand seven hundred and fifty should be the balance sheet total. My total on the other day was wrong. Seven hundred and fifty. Is it matching now? You people can respond. Okay. Yeah, advertisement for three months. I told you on the other day you have got either of the options in that. Either you presume that nine months advertisement is still payable, or you can show it only as the expense of the current year. So in that case, the remaining nine thousand will become outstanding for the current year. Three thousand add outstanding nine thousand. Then balance sheet liability side will be showing nine thousand additional amount. Ultimate effect is going to remain same. उतने से तुम्हारा profit कम हो जाएगा. Okay. We'll do some questions more today, and we'll wind up this these sessions on fine uh, on the final accounts and the basic accounts. After this, if you have got any kind of uh, any kind of questions related to the basics, you can surely come back. if there are multiple people who are having the similar kind of questions i'll be taking a separate session for that all right so let me come ahead to question number 6 following the trial following is the trial balance of mrs tejas traders pune you are required to prepare trading account and profit loss account for the year ended 31st march 2018 and the balance sheet as on that date 
trial balance they have given in the form of account that is debit and credit the items shown on the debit side are nothing but the ledgers having debit balances the items given on the credit side are nothing but the accounts having credit balances carriage opening stock loose tools loose tools are nothing but the assets of the business salaries wages printing and stationery discount commission power and fuel that's a direct expense vehicle bad dates buildings debtors goodwill cash at bank machinery investment purchases and drawings on the credit balances we have capital sales interest bills payable commission rdd creditors outstanding salary please understand and observe the question the outstanding salary is given in the balance sheet liability side i'm sorry in the trial balance credit side means it is already been adjusted against the salaries and if it has already been adjusted against the salary you need not do the further adjustment related to that you will directly be showing this outstanding salary in the balance sheet onto the liability side right so that will not have two effects that will have only one effect any which ways we know it very sure that the items which are given in the trial balance will have only one effect in the final accounts yep stock on 31st march 2018 was valued at rupees 40000 depreciation at 10% per annum on building and vehicle interest outstanding on investment rupees 800 that is interest receivable it is i think investments have debit balance so interest is receivable in this case provide 5% rdd on debtors goods of rupees 2500 were distributed as pre samples i'll only discuss the various adjustments how those will appear in the final accounts income statement and balance sheet as far as the stock which has been distributed uh, sorry stock closing stock will appear where in the trading account on credit side and balance sheet on to the asset side correct depreciation reduced oh sorry will appear in pnl account on to the debit side and reduced from respective asset correct interest on investments added to interest in pnl account credit side and will appear in the balance sheet asset side yes or no rdd pnl debit side added to the bad debts and reduced from debtors correct goods distributed as pre sample trading account credit side and pnl account debit side no effect in the balance sheet with reference to that we have actually written a whole of the summary on this i'm just trying to present it accordingly the balance sheet total in this case i think i can go ahead with this way i can keep on telling you these kind of things and you can understand it the yeah, building and vehicle given to us is what building is 35000 vehicle is 28000 minus 10% so 56700 40000 is the stock 800 is interest receivable debt is given to us is 20000 minus rdd is 5% of that and goods distributed as pre sample is not going to affect the asset side carriage opening stock loose tools is our asset salaries wages printing stationery discount commission power fuel vehicle done bad debts building debtors goodwill is our asset 2000 cash at bank is our asset 
machinery is our asset investment is our asset so accordingly the total of the balance sheet in this case comes to 1,53,300 you can cross verify your answer and uh, you can just check it out if there is any kind of mismatch you can just get back and there is no problem shall i go ahead can you raise hands for me yep okay yeah so i'll go ahead now to the next question question number 7 prepare trading and profit and loss account for the year ended 31st march of 2018 and balance sheet as on that date of mr sunleet kulkarni sunil kulkarni it should be shahada from the following trial balance opening stock purchases and sales returns and debtors and creditors wages furniture machinery for two years advertisement now advertisement is paid for two years means rupees 2000 is prepaid why rupees 2000 is prepaid because if you have paid 4000 for two years that means your annual expense is 2000 in the current year as per the matching principle you will be recognizing only the amount which is the expense of the current year that is 2000 salaries investments insurance cash in hand cash at bank postage and telegram commission reserve fund bills payable rdd capital drawings these are the various items given in the trial balance then the assets oh sorry the adjustments which are given are closing stock 23000 depreciate furniture by 20% machinery by 10% wages 3 500 were unpaid insurance prepaid is 300 create rdd at 5% on debtors goods of rupees 1400 were taken away by mr sunleet for his personal use and commission rupees 200 was due but not received due but not received that means it is your asset all right so accordingly again closing stock will appear where trading account credit side balance sheet asset side rupees 23000 in the balance sheet asset side you'll have furniture inner amount column 11000 this depreciation 20% that is 2200 outer amount column will be 9800 i'm sorry 8800 then machinery inner amount column will be 30000 less depreciation 3000 outer amount column will be 27000 pnl account debit side will be to depreciation under that machinery 2200 i'm sorry furniture 2200 and machinery 3000 outer amount column 5200 wages so 23000 8800 wages 500 were unpaid so trading account debit side two wages in the amount column 4000 add outstanding 500 outer amount column 4500 balance sheet liability side will be 500 insurance was prepaid at 300 pnl account debit side to insurance 500 less prepaid 300 outer amount column 200 balance sheet asset side rupees uh, prepaid insurance rupees 300 balance sheet asset side debtors in the amount column 20000 less rdd 500 uh, sorry 5% 1000 outer amount column 19000 pnl account debit side to rdd new amount 1000 because old rdd will be shown on to the credit side of pnl account uh trading account debit side trading account debit side to purchases in the amount column 1 lakh 30000 less drawings 1400 balance to the outer amount column 1 lakh 28600 balance sheet liability side capital inner amount column 31000 less drawings 1600 plus 1400 that is 3000 outer amount column 28000 all right 
P&L account, credit side, buy commission, inner amount column 500, add receivable 200, outer amount column 700, and balance sheet asset side, insurance, uh, sorry, commission receivable rupees 200. Then the items given in the uh, trial balance, trading account debit side to opening stock 25,000, credit side buy sales 1,80,000. Less returns 5,000, uh, sorry, 2,000, outer amount column 178,000. Purchases may say be returns less on 5,000. So balance of the purchases in the outer amount column will be 123,600. Balance sheet liability side, Sunday creditors 25,000. Wages already done. Furniture done, machinery over. Advertisement, PL account, debit side, two advertisement 4,000. Less prepaid rupees 4,000. Balance sheet, asset side, prepaid advertisement, 2000. PL account, debit side, two salaries, 8000. Balance sheet, asset side, investment is having debit balance. So it will show, it will be shown the asset side, investments, 6000. Insurance, done. Cash in hand and cash at bank will appear in the balance sheet onto the asset side. That is balance sheet, asset side, cash in hand, 900. Cash at bank, 8000. PNL account debit side to postage and commission 1000. Commission done. Reserve fund balance sheet liability side. Reserve fund general reserve. These are the same things. Reserves and surplus. Balance sheet liability side reserve fund 4000. Balance sheet liability side bills payable 6000. Well, PNL account credit side by RDD 500. Capital and drawings we've already taken. So that's it about the balance sheet of this question the total must be 95200 total of balance sheet in this case will come to 95200 i hope this process is going fine for everyone you are able to get the things right can you please raise the hands for me yeah Yes, okay. We'll take three more questions, eight, nine, and ten, and we'll stop by. From the following trial balance of Mrs. Andrew Traders, you're required to prepare the trading and profit loss account for the year ending 31st March 2018 and the balance sheet as on that date. Capital drawings, purchases and sales, opening stock, carriage, sales, rent, rates and taxes, is and three expenses, sales return. Bad dates, interest received, RDD, discount received, daters and traders, furniture, machinery, cash in hand, cash at bank, wages. Closing stock was valued at 19,000, write off 1,400 for bad dates and provide 5% on RDD for daters. So there is the further bad dates as well as new RDD, which was not the case in the earlier questions. Depreciate machinery by 10% and furniture by 5%. Rent include 500 paid for house rent of the proprietor. That means it is a drawing. Salary 500 and wages 800 were outstanding. So check it out. Trading account credit side closing stock 19,000. Balance sheet asset side. Now there is a further bad date as well as there is a RDD to be created. So how will it appear in the balance sheet asset side? Just observe it. If this is my balance sheet asset side. Asset. It will appear as what? Daters. Inner amount column 21,400. Less new bad dates. New bad date means what? The bad date which are not accounted yet. Those are called as new bad dates. So you need to subtract the new bad dates first, 1400. You get the balance of datas of 20,000. Less new RDD, that is the RDD which is to be maintained for future. At 5%, that is 1000. So balance of datas appearing in the balance sheet, outer amount column will be 19,000. All right. 
at the same time how will you be showing in the pnl account the same thing just observe it two bad dates in fact when i will be talking about these all things in ca foundation classes it, it's all together different there we do these all things with the help of accounting entries we prepare the rdd account etc here we are not doing it deliberately for the sake of understanding so two bad dates under that new rdd that you have created now is 1000 bad dates old as well as new that means those given in the trial balance as well as those given in the additional adjustments so that will be 800 that's the bad dates already given plus 1400 the bad dates which are new now that is 2200 and less old rdd the rdd which is given in the trial balance is called as old rdd rupees 1500 so pnl account on to the outer side, outer side you'll be having 700 i'm sorry 1700 is it right i hope presentation is clear for everyone how do you present it fine so balance of debtors is 19000 depreciate machinery by 10% and furniture by 5% machinery inner amount column 5000 less depreciation 10% that is 500 outer amount column 4500 uh furniture inner amount column 3000 less depreciation 5% rupees 1000 sorry 150 outer amount column 2850 correct and pnl account debit side to depreciation under that machinery rupees 500 furniture rupees 150 outer amount column 650 rent include 500 paid for house rent of the proprietor pnl account debit side to rent inner amount column 1200 less drawings 500 outer amount column 700 balance sheet liability side capital inner amount column 35000 less drawings 8000 plus 500 that is 8500 correct then in the salaries pnl account debit side two salaries inner amount column 3500 add outstanding 500 outer amount column 4000 trading account debit side two wages inner amount column 7200 add outstanding 800 outer amount column 8000 correct and the balance sheet left is side outstanding expenses under that salaries 500 wages 800 outer amount column 1300 capital we have already talked about drawings done purchases and sales trading account debit side to purchases 29000 and credit side by sales 56000 trading account debit side to opening stock 10000 trading account debit side to carriage 1000 salaries done rent over rates and taxes pnl account debit side to rates and taxes 200 to sundry expenses 3000 sales return will be subtracted from the sales in the trading account credit side and the balance of the sales will be appearing in the outer amount column rupees 54500 bad debts we have already talked about interest received will come into the pnl account credit side by interest received 200 rdd we have already talked about discount received pnl account credit side to dis uh, sorry by discount received rupees 300 Debtors we have already talked about. Creditors will be appearing in the balance sheet left this side. Creditors seven thousand. Furniture done, machinery over, cash in hand, and cash at bank will be appearing in the balance sheet asset side. Cash in hand two hundred, and cash at bank five thousand. Wages we have already talked about. Therefore, the balance sheet total of this question will be rupees fifty thousand five hundred and fifty. will be the balance sheet total in the question number 8 am i good with everyone shall i go ahead you just raise hand for me there is no problem yeah i'll go ahead 
क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन नहीं तो क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन देर इज नो एडिशनल एडजस्टमेंट एज सच अदर देन वॉट वी टॉक्ट अबाउट टिल नाउ एक्सेप्टिंग वेजेस इंक्लूड टेन थाउजेंड पेड फॉर फिक्सेशन ऑफ मशीनरी एल जस्ट रीड द क्वेश्चन वंस अगेन फॉर यू ओपनिंग स्टॉक जस्ट वन मिनट yes let's come ahead to the question number 9 now you have been given opening stock purchases and sales wages carriage inward salaries printing and stationery machinery carriage outward office expenses land and building furniture bank balance and debtors and creditors bad debts rent and taxes advertisement capital commission received bills payable 10% bank loan which is taken on 1st of october 2017 as nothing has been provided for this so interest on this will be outstanding that's a hidden adjustment again drawings on 31st march 2018 stock was valued at 25000 trading account credit side balance sheet asset side outstanding salary of 2500 and wages 2000 will be reduced from the respective expenses sorry will be added to the respective expenses outstanding that's still payable and will be shown in the balance sheet on to the liability side goods worth rupees 1500 were distributed as per example trading account credit side by goods distributed trading pnl account debit side to advertisement 1500 provide reserve for doubtful debt at the rate of 5% Balance sheet, asset side, salary debtors twenty thousand less five percent one thousand. Outer amount column nineteen thousand. Debtors' ka value kyo change nahi ho raha? Mujhe pata nahi, but it happens like that. Wages include ten thousand paid for fixation of machinery rupees one uh, on one four two thousand and seventeen. That's an installation charge for the machinery that should be treated as a capital expenditure, but it has been debited to wages account. So now what you'll be required to do? You'll be required to first reduce it from the wages, add it to the machinery. and then whatever is the machinery total on that you'll be calculating the depreciation observe it this is your trading account on to the debit side first trading debit side to wages inner amount column 12000 add outstanding rupees 2000 sub total within the inner amount column 14000 less for machinery rupees 10000 outer amount column 4000 right similarly in the balance sheet on to the asset side machinery as given kitna machinery has given 40000 because this amount is paid on 1st april 2017 to pure saal ka depreciation agar wo kisi aur date pe pay kiya hota to partial depreciation aata us 10000 pe add installation or fixation 10000 sub total less depreciation what is the rate for depreciation in on the machinery 10% that is 
therefore to the outer amount column 45000 so p and l account debit side the depreciation will be appearing as 5000 and not 4000 right so 25000 plus debtors of 19000 plus machinery of 45000 plus furniture of 5000 no 10,000 minus 15 percent that is 8,500 opening stock purchases and sales opening stock trading account debit side purchases to uh, trading account debit side sales trading account credit side wages we already talked about carriage and word trading account debit side salary is PL account debit side we already talked about in fact printing and stationery PL account debit side machinery we have already discussed carriage outward PL account debit side Office expenses, PNL account, debit side, land and building, balance sheet, asset side, rupees 35,000. Furniture we have discussed. Bank balance will be appearing in the balance sheet, asset side. Data's we have discussed, creditors, balance sheet, liabilities side. Bad debts will be appearing same as in the previous question we did. Rent and access, PNL account, debit side. Advertisement, PNL account, debit side. In this, we'll be adding that good just for example. Capital balance sheet liability side, commission received, PNL account credit side, bills payable balance sheet liability side, 10% bank loan, balance sheet liability side. On that, again, the hidden adjustment is there. That is 20,000 interest on loan. On loan is what? 20,000 into 10% into 6 upon 12. That is the amount of 500 will be appearing in the PNL account debit side as well as balance sheet liabilities side. Drawings will be reduced from the capital. So that's it. The balance sheet total in this case comes to 138,000. The balance sheet total for this question will be 138,000. Right? Let's come to the question number 10. The last question in our discussion. From the following trial balance of Manali traders. David side is drawings, opening stock, purchases, office salary, royalty, trade expenses, advertisement expenses, wages and salaries in cash in hand. Wages and salaries, that means it will appear in the balance in the trading account, David side. Cash in hand, send debtors, bad debts, investment. Motor car, motor, uh, furniture, office rent, plant and machinery, freehold property, bills receivable, interest. On to the credit side, you have capital, creditor, sales, RDD, that is nothing but the old RDD, return outward, that is purchase return, bills payable, outstanding wages and salaries, again given in the trial balance, means the effect has already been given. Discount on creditors is not to be provided. Discount on debtors is similar to the provision for doubtful debt. How it will be presented, I'll show you. Closing stock was valued at 15,000, depreciated free old property at 10%, motor car by 25%, write off 1,000 as bad debt, provide 5%. RDD sent date on Sunday date doesn't provide 2% for discount on debtors. And creditors, you'll never provide the discount on creditors because when you provide the discount on creditors, it's violate, it, it violates the concept of conservatism. All right. Because it's an anticipated income. 10% interest on investment is accrued for six months. Accrued means what? It has it is receivable, but not the recoverable amount. You have become eligible to receive it, but that due date of that has not yet come. That is why it is called as accrued for six months. Office salary rupees 1000 was paid in advance. That means it was a prepaid amount. So you'll have what? Closing stock of 15,000, trading account, trade side and the balance sheet, asset side. Freehold property of 10,000 is to be depreciated by 10%. That is, it will be appearing the balance sheet liability side or at 9,000. Uh, sorry, balance sheet asset side at 9,000, I'm sorry. And uh, motor car is to be depreciated by 25%. Motor car given to us is 30,000. Depreciation on that 25%, that is 7,500. Outer amount column will be 22,500. And at the same time, PNL account debit side to depreciation 
Pre old property 1000, motor car rupees 7500, outer mode column 8500. Now let's talk about the RDD and provision for discount on daters, etc. If you, if you observe this as my balance sheet asset side, in my balance sheet asset side, I'll be having daters. Inner amount column as 51,000. Wow, data's come on change. From this, I'll be further subtracting the bad dates further first, which are not yet been accounted. Bad dates 1,000. These are not the bad dates which are given in trial balance. These are the bad dates which are additional bad dates given in the adjustments. Subtotal of the data's comes to 50,000. On this, I'll first provide for the RDD. So less RDD, 5%, that is 2,500. When I wrote notes, I wrote provision for doubtful debt. This is the same thing. So that comes to 47,500. And of this, 2% is the provision for discount. जैसे आपके कुछ डेटर्स डिफॉल्ट कर सकते हैं वैसे ही कुछ डेटर्स आपको जल्दी पेमेंट भी दे सकते हैं तो जो आपको जल्दी पेमेंट दे रहा है उनको आपको डिस्काउंट देना पड़ेगा देयरफॉर प्रोविजन फॉर डिस्काउंट रुपीस 950 देयरफॉर बैलेंस ऑफ 46550 डेटर्स अपीयर इन द बैलेंस शीट ऑन टू द एसेट साइड ऑलराइट नाउ as far as the RDD ka treatment is concerned, that will appear same. And because discount is not been provided to us, so therefore provision for discount will be appearing in the balance in the PL account debit side as such. So how will these items be appearing in the balance in the PL account? I'm sorry, in the income statement. Let's observe that. Profit and loss account. Of course, we are talking about only the debit side two bad dates and that new rdd rupees 2500 add bad dates which bad dates old as well as new the ones which are given in trial balance as well as those given in the adjustments trial balance may charge for additional are 1000 so total of bad dates come to 1400 subtotal within the inner amount column 3000 even though you have not taken if you don't take the subtotal that doesn't make any difference old already given to us is 1000 Less old RDD 1000. So to the outer amount column, it will be 2900 for the bad dates. And then to provision for discount that will appear as such in the PL account debit side. 950. If the old provision for discount diya hota, to I would have adjusted it same as in the case of RDD. Am I right? 10% interest on investment is accrued for 6 months. Now investments which are given in the trial balance are 16,000. On that at the rate of 10% for 6 months. That means half of the interest is accrued. That is 800 rupees. All right, and that will appear in PNL account onto the credit side. Interest on investments rupees 600. I'm sorry, 800. Office salaries paid in advance to the extent of 1000. So PNL account debit side to salaries. Okay, they have not given the salaries. Therefore, uh, trading account uh, office salary to office salary 6000 less prepaid 1000 out of column 5000. Am I right? And at the same time, it being a prepaid expense will be appearing in the balance sheet onto the asset side prepaid salaries 1000. 
drawings will be reduced from the capital in the balance sheet onto the liability side capital inner amount column 85000 less drawings 3000 outer amount column sorry sub total within the inner amount column 82000 opening stock trading account debit side to opening stock 10000 P and uh, sorry, trading account debit side to purchases in the amount column 82,400 less returns 2,400 outer amount column 80,000 office salary already talked about royalty being a direct expense will be appearing in the trading account debit side to royalties 2,000 P&L account debit side to trade expenses 1,600 P&L account debit side to advertisement 5,200 trading account debit side to wages and salaries rupees 10,400 Balance sheet, asset side, cash in hand, rupees 8,000. Datas we have already talked about, bad debts already discussed. Investment will be appearing in the balance sheet, asset side, investment 16,000. Motor car we have already talked about, furniture we have already discussed. No, furniture we have not discussed. Furniture will be appearing as such because no depreciation has been told on that. Office rent, PL account debit side to office rent 3400. Plant and machinery, no depreciation with reference to that is given. So that will appear as such 30,000. Freehold property already talked about. Wealth receivable 4000, balance sheet asset side. Interest is already given 1600. So we have to show this amount in the uh, uh, trading, uh, sorry, PL account trade side by interest rupees 1000. 600 and to that you can add interest accrued rupees 800 the adjustment we have already talked about capital done creditors pay p and account i'm sorry trading creditors balance sheet liability side creditors 45000 trading account trade side by sales directly to the outer moon column 144000 rdd we have already discussed return outward already discussed bills payable balance sheet liability side bills payable 5000 outstanding wages and salaries 2600 all right so these are the various adjustments how it it get presented so the balance sheet total for this comes to 162850 you can cross verify now interest being an expense i'm sorry interest here is an expense so it will appear in the pnl account debit side to interest which is 1600 162850 is the amount of the balance sheet total in here right so with this i stop by here not only for today's session but the sessions of basic accounts if you have any further queries questions doubts related to any of the topic it's not related to only the topics that we discussed in basic accounts you can surely revert back is what you people know it very well uh, you try solving the other questions also try sending the answers of those to me We'll cross check and if those are correct or not, I'll confirm with you. So that is it. Now we will not be meeting at 6.30 on a regular basis. Uh, consignment, I cannot take it here. Consignment revision will be taking separately. Uh, uh, in our regular sessions itself, it's not only the doubts for to the students of basic accounts. There are the doubts with the other students also with reference to the consignment. So for that, I'll be taking the separate revision session. All right. Uh, as far as the manufacturing account uh, concept is concerned, if the students of uh, April batch have any kind of uh, problem, those can join in in the May batch when I'll be going ahead with that. Final account is the next topic that I'm going to talk about in that batch. So that time you can join in and you can get the things solved in that batch. All right. So that's it from me. Thank you. Thank you very much.